somebody, somewhere, thought I'd look cool wearing these. Thought anyone would look cool wearing these. So why am I wearing such comically huge goggles? Well, for one thing, I didn't know they'd be so comically huge when I bought them. But the other reason, actually the more important reason why I bought these, hold on, I need to put my glasses on. You can never get glasses on under goggles, you know. All right. So the reason I wear, I bought these is because these are electrically heated anti-fog goggles. The number one problem I have when I'm ski touring, ski tourers will know this. Like I've never had this problem in a big way when I'm downhill skiing, but definitely when I'm touring, because you get sweaty, you get hot, as you cannot wear your goggles when you're climbing up the hill while ski touring because they will fog up. So I went on the internet looking for anti-fog goggles and all I could find was a couple of companies and then like this $35 and you know, like electrically heated goggles on Amazon that I wasn't willing to try. These were lo lo listed on a bombs website for like 300 bucks. And then suddenly I got like a Facebook message saying that they had dropped to like a hundred bucks or 150 bucks. I can't remember it was something like dirt cheap. Obviously they were like clearing them out. And so I was like, sweet. So I bought these. They're large, but they also, I got with them a clear lens. So you can swap out lenses on the goggle frame. So you can also get a clear lens. And if you look at the lens, it gives you kind of an idea how they work. They have right there. Let me focus in on that. There you go. So there's this little connector there that hooks into where the battery powers it. I won't go into excruciating or boring detail about how the battery works. You can follow if you have, if you're managed to find a pair of these, which I doubt that you can now because it looks like they ran out of them. At least this particular model. I don't know if they're going to release another model or if they're going to just discontinue this and move it to other goggle manufacturers. But I did want to review the idea of electric, electrically heated goggles. And overall, I like them. But let's go ahead and see how they worked out in the field on Tom, Dick and Harry Peak. All right, here I am. I'm just leaving to go skiing and I'm bringing with me my brand new heated ski goggles. They are made by A-Bomb. I hope I'm pronouncing the company's name right. A-Bomb, maybe. We're gonna see how all well these work. So I'm gonna try to put them to the test. It looks like um, it should be, it's, it's March and it should be alternately snowing out when I get to the mountains, I'm down here in the valley, but it will probably, it'll be kind of like 35 degrees and kind of wet snow, which is the most like challenging conditions for any eyewear. As anybody, everybody knows, that's when your eyewear fogs up. So we're gonna see how well these, these heated ski goggles work in the worst of conditions. So guess what, Heather? Hey, what? I have a new toy to try today. Heated goggles. I'm actually reviewing them. So Did wearing... someone send them to you? Uh, no, I bought, I bought them. They're from, yeah. You look like a fighter pilot. I know, they're huge, right? They're huge! They're huge. But I want to see if I can like wear them while climbing with the helmet. Like worst case scenario, right? What brand are those ones? A-bomb. Hey, bomb. Hey, bomb. I think they're a Portland company. I'm not sure. Here we are at the top of Tom, Dick, and Harry. I mean, Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Mount, Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Anyway, I, I got all the way to the top with these goggles, and I've turned on the a spider jet. Yeah, these are huge, but I've turned on the anti-fog like <laughs> six times, and so I can see. And they like totally want to fog up, but they can't because they keep turning on the anti-fog. So my so far my review is, this is awesome. Your call sign. Shut up. <laughs> you know, I do actually have a call sign and I'm really embarrassed about the fact that you... <laughs> let's, the, let's hear the call sign. I know. Dude. It's kd 7 qow That's too big. That's too many syllables. No, because well, it's a legal, like, FCC call sign. Oh, my Katie, by short. Oh, you were talking like a, oh, like a nickname. Like fighter pilot. Like Echo Bravo 90. Oh, right. Like Maverick. I was thinking ham radio call sign, which oh, I do shit. have but no. nobody thinks you're cool for having a ham radio license, ever. Talking about your fighter pilot. These are like fighter pilot goggles. They I wish other goggle pilot. manufacturers would get their shit together and make doing? goggles that are anti-fog, not- They do, they cost a thousand dollars. Do they have batteries in them? Probably. Like actual anti-fog, not just like bull we put some slimy coating on the inside yeah. anti-fog. I'm gonna have to like edit out all my swearing now. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. My hand's getting cold, so this needs to stop. 
And Heather's already clipped in, and I'm not. Heather's clipped in. Well, that means it's time to go. One of the things that I noticed about these goggles that I hadn't anticipated wearing in the whole time. So, so I, I, like I said, I, w I chose worst case scenario. I wore these goggles the entire way up the hill with my helmet on, with a beanie on under the helmet and wearing a neck gaiter pulled up. So like just, I was just swirling in a cloud of my own moisture that was wanting to condense. And every now and then they would sort of fog up and then I would turn on the little anti-fog thing. There's two, there's like a high mode and then there's like a timed mode. And I, Either one of them cleared them up really, really quickly. And then I could go on, I could see again. But then I ran into a problem I had not anticipated happening with wearing the goggles the entire time, which is I started sweating on the inside. And so sweat started dripping down the inside of the goggles. And I don't think that that's something that's really, I don't think it's reasonable to expect a goggle manufacturer to anticipate that. Like, I, I don't know how you control for that. So these may not be the answer. Like what I was hoping these would be an answer for is being able to wear them continuously. And the reason I would like to be able to wear my goggles continuously without them fogging up is for those days where it's really cold and there's a lot of blowing snow it would be really nice to be able to have that environment, to have your eyes kept inside of that environment of the goggles because everybody knows like who is, who's done this. When you wear sunglasses skiing up the hill, it feels great when you put the goggles on because you can see a lot better and your eyes are protected better and there's no more wind blowing across your the surface of your eyeballs. And you notice that and that makes a big difference. And so I was hoping these would work for that. I think that if I was in a on a windier day, that would still be the case. Um, so a pro tip with these would be, you can climb the mountain in them, but just don't have the helmet on too. That was the big one. Like I was also wearing the helmet and the beanie. So there just wasn't enough breathability and I started sweating. Like, so as long as you don't sweat, I think they'll work. Cause honestly, overall, like I said, these worked great. They were awesome. And I really would like to see other goggle manufacturers go this direction. Cause you know, you're paying like some goggles are like what three or four hundred dollars and it's like how are you charging me hundreds of dollars and they don't have an electrically heated element inside of it it's not like this is rocket science it's, it's a science like cars have been doing this for decades right electrically heated rear windows um it it is not an unknown technology so i don't know why more manufacturers don't do it other than the fact that this is comically large which might have been Part of the issue, I don't know why they didn't just do a battery pack on the strap or like on the back of the head or something like that so that they could make the goggle frame not so big because I suspect that they made the goggle frame large in order to accommodate the lithium ion batteries inside. But overall, I like them. They were a screaming good deal for me because I just happened to get them on sale. I hope somebody still makes or picks up the slack on making electric the heated, electrically heated goggles. This was a proof of concept for me and the proof, it was proven, it works. You want electrically heated goggles. They're magical. They will change your whole experience. I'd like to take this time also to thank all my Hero Dirt level sponsors and my Lomi Goodness level sponsors who are helping make, make this channel possible and remind you all as always, to like, subscribe and share. But most importantly, navigate to patreon.com slash voiceover trails and support me at a level that you think works best if these reviews are helpful for you.